The Morrison County Food Shelf will soon be expanding their operation to better serve their community. Our Sarah Winkleman stopped by the Food Shelf today to hear about their efforts in the region. We have to haul all that in and weigh it and sort it and display it. Volunteer John is explaining how each of his shifts start out at the Morrison County Food Shelf, where he donates his time twice a week for the past 15 years. As soon as I retired from teaching, I felt God wanted me to help people that were not having enough food, that were hungry. For over 30 years, the food shelf has been making sure no one in Morrison County has to go hungry, with the shelves filled from individual donations as well as from stores like Walmart and Colborne's. And yet they didn't sell it, they gave it to us. And so that's pretty nice for a, a bigger family to have a big meal of pork chops or something like that. And soon even more food will be coming in after a new partnership with Aldi. With the additional produce donations, the food shelf hopes to add longer hours to provide more access for community members in need. It's just a blessing to be able to be here to help them. In 2017, they served a total of 4,240 families throughout the year. Now, based on the family size of the clients, they're able to take a certain number of different food items off of the shelf. Yeah where larger families are provided with additional groceries. You might get a choice or two out of here because that'll help them out a lot more. And already in 2018, the Food Shelf has served nearly 700 families and given away over 58,000 pounds of food. The wonderful support that we have received and the kindness that everyone, I mean, even if it's five bucks, five bucks goes a long way. Whether you donate food, money, or time, the Morrison County Food Shelf is happy with the support of their community. Reporting in Little Falls, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. The Food Shelf is looking for more volunteers to help pick up the new food donation. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.